Good morning, everyone. I am calling, hopefully the, the audio is okay. I've not actually got my microphone on today because it's charging, but I am on annual leave today. So I'm gonna pop down to Ikea and find some new plant pots with sources because I've realized that a lot of the plants that I have in the pots, I don't buy sources for, and then they're just a pain to like water. So that's on my list to do today. And I also wanna find a stool that I can put a plant on in the bedroom. Because as you would have seen last time we changed the room around, I'm looking to add a bit more life into the bedroom and a bit more height, as I've said before. So I'm thinking a nice plant on a stool, like a wooden stool, would look really, really nice. Hopefully they have something that is suitable. I've got an idea in mind um, of the one. But also my friend Lauren, shout out to Lauren if you're watching, which I know you are because you just said that you are. <laughs> She has dropped around some books for me to use on, uh, fill up the bookcase with it. So I'm gonna do a bit of a rearranging, fill my bookcase with me time-lapse. So I hope you enjoy that. I will show you them now. So she's brought round two massive boxes full of books, which is so exciting. And I spot some penguin books. So I'll be going through these to put on the bookshelf yeah really exciting like look at that beautiful and these so buzzing i'm gonna go through them and then do a little video montage of me putting them on the bookshelf just for reference this is what it looks like so far dead aloe i know guilty need to get a new aloe for that or a different plant i think i'm gonna take better care of it that's my mission <laughs> been to Ikea and I bottled filming anything because I'm too shy yeah I was too nervous unfortunately however I've got a big old haul to show you guys so I had a lovely trip I went to Ikea grabbed some meatballs if you don't have the meatballs there then what are you doing with your life I sat there like, like a little mouse by myself <laughs> eating my meatballs and chips and then I got to work, so. Hey guys, um, I've just realized that one of the clips of me showing you the stool that I bought has been deleted, unfortunately, from my phone when trying to transfer my files from my phone to my laptop. So basically I bought a, like the three-legged stool from Ikea, which you'll see later on in the video, that comes in like a black, a white, a uh, green, and like the wood shade that I bought with the view to put it in the bedroom and then put the plant pot and the new plant on top. So apologies for that. I'm still very novice and I'm learning very quickly from my mistakes, but I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. Uh, move this spoiler alert out of the way. So I got two terracotta pots. We have lots of terracotta pots around the apartment. And I think with pots, especially, I want to start getting more of a theme going. I don't know, I don't really like the mix and match in one space and like in one area, the mix and match pot scenario, unless it's like, I don't know, earthier tones. So you've got the greens, the terracotta, um, maybe metal. I mean, th these are Ikea as well, but I just think they all kind of like harmonize quite well. And I'm less inclined towards more colorful pots just because I think it can look quite next catalog. And I know I keep bringing up the reference next catalog and I'm really sorry if any of you love next catalog, but I just seem to have like a personal issue towards next catalog. 
and that kind of vibe. So yeah, what I need to do realistically is get some more sources for all my terracotta pots I've got at the moment because I don't have any. But I've just been to the garden centre and they're charging about £12 for a small saucer. And I've just been to Ikea before that and managed to get a big pot and a saucer for 13 and I know Ikea is like, the quality isn't as great. I don't know, is there even much difference between like a garden centre terracotta pot versus Ikea? Like what are the differences? It's a terracotta pot, but... Yeah, I need to go on a hunt for more sources. However, today I picked up this little pot and saucer and at Ikea they come like as a pair so you can't just buy the saucer, you have to buy both, um, which is fine. And this is called Brun Bar and I think, I think this is like £3.50. No, I'm pretty sure it was £3.50 for both the saucer, the saucer and the pot, which I think is so cute. And then I got this one. Uh, this is just like the cardboard to protect it. This is called the Musket, Musket Blommer Plant Pot and Saucer, 13 pounds. £13 is such a good bargain. To be honest, I wanted this colour in the bigger size, but they didn't have them in stock. So I was literally in the plant pot section, like, I'm an R-ing. Do I get it? Do I not? But actually, the different tones in terracotta looks quite nice. So, yeah. And then I compared it also to, like, so this is going to go on top of this in the bedroom. And I think the colours look quite nice together versus, like, yeah, happy with that. And then I also looked at the plants in Ikea. I was really tempted to get a like banana plant, I think they're called. There's various different like strelitzias or something. Yeah, 55 quid for a banana plant. They are expensive. Uh, so I might be looking on Facebook Marketplace for something similar. Depends how this other one that I got today looks. So then I went to my local garden centre. It's a Dobby's. And there always seems to be reduced plants going for sale over there so I thought Do you know what I'll just have a look it's kind of kind of on the way home and they had this huge monstera fairly mature monstera because it's got the splits as well reduced from 20 pounds to 9.99 my thinking is to put this in the pot on the stand in the bedroom by by the mirror to like Add a bit more nature into it. That's what I'll be doing this afternoon. I think I'll be repotting this Monstera because that pot is blimmin' tiny for the size of the uh, plant. Yeah, hopefully it kind of comes together and looks really nice. I'll do a little bit of a time lapse of that one and I uh, hope you enjoy. is the finished result and I think excuse my Pepsi mat <laughs> I think it looks nice like a very simple addition but I think it looks really nice there and as it gets bigger and it grows I think it'll look really nice so I'm happy with that what do you guys think I like the fact the stool and the pot are like quite similar in color and in the same kind of family of color I think it just kind of blends really nicely and it's not too in your face. Adds a bit of a statement as well. Mm -hmm. 